Hey guys, Eric Sargent, General Manager at Ed Martin Toyota, Noblesville, Indiana. And today we're going to show off a very special dual battery setup that we've done here on a 2018 200 series Land Cruiser. Come on in and check it out with me. So standard dual battery setup. So we have um, a Toyota True Start Group 31 crank battery over here. And then on the other side, we have a Sleed dual battery tray. It's a Group 35 size uh, auxiliary battery tray, stainless steel. And uh, we're using a uh, Dakota Lithium um, lithium auxiliary battery. This is a very cool battery because it's 135 uh, amp hours and it's in the physical size of a Group 35. So a lot of performance in this. It's a, also a, a true deep cycle battery. Um, it's a hundred, it's a thousand, excuse me, a thousand cold cranking amps. So this particular battery, we can use it to trickle off all of the accessories that are attached to this vehicle. We can use it to jumpstart the crank battery if need be. Um, and so we're using some new hardware um, and this is kind of what makes this a particularly special video. And I want to make sure that we did a video on it to just kind of showcase a couple of new products. Um, so a lot of the products on here have been out for a while. Um, we're using a Red Arc uh, BCDC 1225D charger isolator mounted right here next to the battery. And then also um, we're using something called a Red Arc smart battery, uh, smart, ba uh, smart battery monitor, excuse me. We are using a smart battery isolator as well, but that's over there. So the smart battery uh, monitor is, is mounted in, underneath of the OEM distribution box. So we have the lid taken off here, just so you can kind of peek your head in there and see. Smart battery monitor is pretty cool because you can launch the Red Vision app on your phone and you can actually connect to the device via Bluetooth. And um, basically you can uh, monitor the status of, uh, the, of how much ch uh, charge you have on the, on the auxiliary battery, how much draw you have and how many days you can have that kind of, that same constant draw before your battery is down to zero or whatever. So you can monitor the incoming and outgoing, uh, or excuse me, the incoming um, uh, voltage and wattage. Now, come on over here. So up on the roof rack, we're looking at a Westcott Designs three quarter inch roof rack. Uh, it's all aluminum, modular roof rack, um, uses 80-20 bars, so easy to mount, accessories too. Um, and this particular solar panel, this is a, uh, a Yuma 100 watt 6 solar panel. It's a flexible solar panel. Um, you can ply it, it rolls up. We want it to be perfectly flat, so we mounted it to the, um, to the actual uh, platform on the Westcott Designs roof rack. And so it's uh, to kind of have it nicely laid out and more of a permanent fixture, semi-permanent fixture. Um, we had a local, and I'll link it in the comments below, uh, but ZR Tactical here in Noblesville uh, cut out a polycarbonate uh, board. Um, this is a two-piece on the water jet. So basically, um, this particular uh, panel um, is two parts. There's a base board, a base polycarbonate board cut out for this exact size, and then to kind of keep it uh, squashed down here, uh, there's another uh, ring around it. And so these are mounted uh, from here, um, IP68 waterproof connections for the solar. This goes and trickle charges directly to the auxiliary battery primarily. Um, we're using a Red Arc uh, SBI 12 uh, smart battery, dual sensing smart battery isolator. So the power comes in from solar and it automatically goes to the lithium first. Once the lithium hits a certain wattage or voltage, it's like 12.7 amps or whatever, then it's gonna go to uh, the, it's gonna then switch over and start char trickle charging the uh, main battery. So that's kind of how it works. Um, again, this is, uh, I say semi-permanent because um, although it is uh, mounted here, um, it's just really only uh, three screws on each side. We put on handles, so and this is extremely lightweight because again, it's polycarbonate plastic. So there's two handles on here. Just unplug the IP68 uh, waterproof uh, solar connection fittings right here, and then just grab it with the handle, and then you can store it in your garage, use your roof rack for any kind of utility or purpose that you may need. And then when you're ready to put it back on the car, then just put those three bolts in on each side, plug it back in, and you're good to go. Okay, so we're back on the ground. I wanted to make a correction. I said SBI 212. This is actually the um, the, the 212D uh, Red Arc uh, smart battery smart battery isolator because this is the the dual sensing unit. Stephanie, if you could put your camera right inside there, you'll see the the, the, the two uh, terminal connections. So that's the piece of hardware that's physically going to let you jumpstart um, the crank battery from the auxiliary battery. So right next one of the blank uh, ports, and we'll overlay it on the screen here somewhere, but. Um, that's the button you press and then the, battery, the, the two batteries are linked. But because it's the smart sensing unit, 
there's actually a little bit more going on um, in terms of the way that they talk to each other. So Scott's the electrician and I'm gonna let him explain how that works. So with the 212D, we're, we're actually monitoring both batteries. So if this battery is low, the truck's off, it's gonna charge through solar. Once this gets to 12.7 volts, it's gonna actually turn on the, the 212D to top off the other battery. Um, so then, if, let's say you're once you're started it, you're gonna charge with the with the BCDC, but it's also gonna connect the two batteries with the 212D as well to keep everything topped off completely so we won't have any dead batteries. Whether we're on the road, uh, we're not gonna have it, we're not gonna have a dead lithium, or if we're at camp with the solar on, we're not gonna have a dead lithium or a dead uh, crank battery, so we keep those topped off all the time using that 212D. And then one other modification too that's on this vehicle is that um, there's another uh, Anderson connector down here for another solar panel. So if you wanted to simultaneously use the 100 watt on on the roof, and then use a you know a, a, a blanket or a suitcase, you know some kind of a add-on 100 watt solar panel or whatever, you can plug it in here and then you can charge from uh, dual solar sources simultaneously. But all in all, that's the dual battery setup on this particular 200 series Land Cruiser. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, we are gonna go ahead and do a full video walk around on this entire truck, there's a lot, lot, lot of cool stuff going on. Um, but thanks for watching the video, and if you like the content, please hit uh, thumbs up and subscribe.